Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode. Today, we're going to unbox the Logitech G502 mouse. Now, what makes this mouse so special? It's a gaming mouse, but I'm not going to use it for gaming. I'm going to use it for editing. It has a very reliable scroll wheel. It also has um, a place to rest your thumb. And in other words, it's very ergonomic, which let's face it, at my age, I have to start looking at those things. So let's unbox this and see what we got. Now on the back of the box, it does say G502 Hero Gaming Mouse Soros Gaming. S-O-U-R-I-S. If you're in the gaming world, you probably know what that means. I don't. Uh, it's next generation Hero Sensor delivers precision tracking up to 25,600 DPI with zero smoothing filtering or acceleration. Now it does have 11 programmable buttons and dual more dual mode hyper fast scroll wheel uh, which gives you fully customizable control over your gameplay or um, <laughs> it, uh, it gives you more precise control over your editing and your scroll wheels and all that kind of stuff so you can arrange up to five 3.6 gram weights for personalized weight and balance configurations. Oh, that's cool. So you can weight it or make it as light as you want. Uh, for editing, I'll probably, have to, I'll probably put as much weight in as I can to keep it nice and sturdy. And I think that's it. All right, anything else on here? Nope. All right. Let's go ahead and ah, there we go. Oh, this thing's packaged. Pretty good. Oh, more packaging. Looky there. I got a Logic Tech G sticker. All right. There. He's fine. All right. Open this up. Ooh, here are the weights at the bottom. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> oh boy. Put that back in there. It does come with instructions which is nice uh, essentially plug it into the USB put weights in it and you're good to go <laughs> okay so much for the instructions and this is just uh, thou shalt not uh, do dumb things all right Ooh, this is pretty. Look at that thing. Futuristic. <laughs> All right. So, somehow you're supposed to be able to take the bottom off and put weights in it. it says you just kind of pull it right off. Oh, you do. <laughs> pull that right off there. Get the weights out. Start putting weights in, I guess. Is there a certain configuration? There might be. I don't know. Oh, okay. Let's push that in. Yeah, pretty much what it says. Let's push it in. Alrighty. Oh, they do have little outlines in there. Like this. Here, push that down, 
And I guess you just keep doing it until you got as much weight in there as you want. And again, because I want precision, I think I'm going to weight this thing down and then decide if I want it more weight or less weight later. And we got one left over. Is there a certain way you can put an extra one in there? Oh, it does look like it can. You could do it on an angle like this. So if I angle like that. And the other one, you put on the angle over here. I get it. So, I want to put all the weights in. One, two, angle, angle, and the back. All right. Actually, yeah, that feels good. All right, now we got to figure out how to put this darn thing back on. <laughs> okay, there's two little nipples there. You put that in. Wow, that's it. Okay, that was easy. All right, so let's put this all back together. Let's plug it into the new computer. See if it works. Alrighty, for the mouse. Let's see if we can find an open slot up here. Go ahead and plug that in. I don't need high speed for this because I'm not gaming. Let's put in a regular USB. And there we go. Now, if you can see, with the G is lit up. We got movement on screen, looky there, and way over there, <laughs> jumping screens, oh this is going to be awesome.